Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. I want to run you guys through a bunch of free stuff available right now. No free Steam game offerings. However, Indie Gala is giving away two games that I want to highlight. Rebel Galaxy is available for free on the Epic Game Store. We'll look at that real quickly. And on Steam, there are two very good free-to-play weekends that are running right now. Since it's Thursday, I wanted to get this up as soon as possible. So you guys could take advantage of that. The free weekends include Insurgency, Sandstorm, as well as World War. War 3, so some pretty interesting first-person shooters there. And I want to round out the video by taking a look at some newly released PC titles that I think you guys should have on your Steam wishlist. We've got a Medieval, and then back on Tuesday, we had the release of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Both those games are being received incredibly well, so definitely titles to either pick up right away or keep them on your wishlist and pick up when they do go on sale. We'll cover that at the end of this video. But first up, I do want to go over all of the free stuff. Gateways is available for free over on Indie Gala. It's from the creative mind behind the adventures of Shuggy, it's an exciting retro style 2D platformer, a winner of Dream Build Play 2012 and a top 50 game of 2012 according to Game Informer, so that's actually a relatively big statement. You'll grab the gateway guns and explore a huge lab filled with mysterious puzzles in a classic platformer. The game was received very well, 125 Steam user reviews, 94% positive reception, typically goes for 5 bucks, but again, free right now over on Indie Gala. Another free game offering is Song of the Mirror what lies beneath that is also available for free over on Indie Gala. typically goes for $4.99 has you explore the island of Namek and its dungeon both of them full of adventures dangers and big bosses you'll craft new armors weapons potions etc meet the crazy town folk and discover the secrets that lie beneath the world a game with a pretty interesting old school art style a pixel graphic art style and again received very strongly over on Steam 58 Steam user reviews 86% positive and it is available for free right now on Indie Gala. so check that out out as well and over on the epic game store rebel galaxy is available for free right now i believe this is the last free game offering as a part of the mega sale so now they're going back to bi-weekly game offerings rebel galaxy is a pretty considerable offering given that it typically goes for 19.99 it's a swashbuckling space adventure with action pack combat exploration discovery trade and negotiation with the outlandish denizens at the edge of the known universe another game that was received relatively well the steam user reviews based on 5331 user reviews reviews 85% positive. I know a lot of you guys don't like to use the Epic Game Store outside of the free game offerings, but Rebel Galaxy, one that you might as well add to your library. So wanted to run through all of the free game offerings real quickly. I know with them not being on Steam, maybe you're not as enticed to check out all of them, but in the case of the two indie games, they look pretty quirky and interesting, so I would give those direct downloads. I'll leave links to all of those in the description box down below. Okay, moving on from that, there are also two free-to-play weekends running on Steam right now. First up for Insurgency Sandstorm. You guys might know that I talked very highly about the first Insurgency. Insurgency Sandstorm, on the other hand, is once again a very realistic first-person shooter, a team-based tactical FPS. So if you're expecting something that's really run and gun, you're not going to find that here. This is a game that you do want to go into with a squad, work together, cooperate, communicate, and you'll have the best time that way. And of course, with a free weekend, it's very easy to convince all your friends to check out the game as well. And then you'll have the best experience possible. The game does have a 78 on Metacritic, which is relatively decent. And if you do enjoy the game so much, you can pick up the game. It's 30% off for $21. Typically goes for $30, so that's not a bad price either. Check out the free weekend, and if you don't buy it right away, it probably will go on sale with an even deeper discount. Maybe sometime in the near future, maybe even during the summer grand pre-sale, who knows? So in that sense, you might want to wait a little bit before actually buying the game, given that that sale, I believe, is kicking off in just a few days. So you might as well wait a little while longer. But nonetheless, Insurgency Sandstorm is free for the weekend play from June 20th until the 24th. Okay, also the early access title in World War 3 is free for the weekend. With that, you can enjoy a 40% discount if you decide to pick up the game to own it. Kind of oddly priced at $28. Usually you would see games priced at, you know, $5 increments or whatever the case may be. $28 is kind of a strange price point, but nonetheless, this was done by the Farm 51. They're a pretty notable studio. They've done the Painkiller titles. They've done Necrovision. They're kind of well-known in the PC gaming scene. So World War III still in early access. It's a multiplayer military FPS set in a modern global conflict. Join the fight in massive infantry battles. Gain advantage over the enemy with personalized weapons, vehicles, and drones, and experience true tactical combat in the global struggle where every battle counts. Game has a relatively mixed reception. This is one that I haven't played, so I 
I can't give you guys my two cents. However, it is free for the weekend. And if you do decide to pick it up to own 40% off, another one to check out. Okay, so that is all of the free stuff. Lastly, I do want to run you guys through a couple of Steam new releases that I think you guys should have on your wish list. First up, we have a Medieval, which just dropped today. And it's a retro FPS for the ages. Once branded a heretic, now you have been chosen as the champion. Reclaim all the sacred weapons and take back to the ancient lands if you can stand amid the evil. This was a game that was in early access and through that period, it's amassed an overwhelmingly positive reception that's 98% positive. And based on the recent reviews, 49 user reviews and 97% positive. So again, very good scores on this one. Relatively easy to run as well. Recommends a GTX 470 or an AMD Radeon HD 6870. Six years ago, those GPUs were probably pretty well regarded. But now in 2019, you should be able to run this game, no problem. And on the minimum side of things, they literally have listed Intel HD graphics. So super easy game to run. It is 20% off for $16 as a part of the special promotion with its release. However... At the very least, just add it to your wishlist and maybe pick it up sometime down the line. I do not expect this to go on sale as a part of the summer sale, given that it's a brand new release. But you might as well add it to your wishlist for now if you don't have any intention on picking it up and playing it right away. Maybe even wait until the winter sale and by then it'll be had for an even lower price. And lastly, I do want to give a shout out to a game that had really captivated me ahead of its release. And that is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. This was a game done by Koji Igarashi of Castlevania fame. And when you look at this game, it definitely harkens back to the Castlevania titles and I love the Castlevania games namely on the Nintendo DS I also played Symphony of the Night those games were tremendous in my eyes and to see Koji Igarashi come back with some sort of new release in that vein Bloodstained Ritual of the Night that is very exciting now it is priced at $40 which is going to be seen as a little bit steep to some people however if you actually go back the Nintendo DS Castlevania titles were also priced at $40 so for comparison's sakes it's not all too crazy and so far it is getting incredibly positive reviews I haven't been able to delve into it myself already picked it up and I plan to play it over the weekend. This is really the game I'm going to invest a lot of time into this weekend, but 93% positive based on 2,373 user reviews. That is incredible. And this was a game I went into with a fair amount of skepticism just because it was a crowdfunded game. And you see games like Mighty Number no. 9 that don't turn out all too well. I was just worried that Bloodstained was going to turn out the same way, but luckily it seems like people are really digging it. So that is some great news. Even if you don't want to pick it up right away, which I can understand, $40, it is $30. $36 with a 10% off discount for its launch. I did make the comparison about the DS games being priced similarly, but if you compare other games and when games go on sale, $40 is a sizable amount to drop. So if you do want to wait a little bit, I'm not going to hold that against you, but definitely keep it on your wish list. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, a ton of great free stuff is available right now with Gateway, Song of the Mern, which I'll leave links to those in the description box down below. Rebel Galaxy is available free over on the Epic Game Store. Insurgency Sandstorm and then World War 3 are enjoying free weekends and then a Medieval and Bloodstained Ritual of the Night are two titles that should definitely be on your wish list. That's going to wrap up this video guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a request for another video, you can leave that in the comments section down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.